Bonjour et bienvenue à le Cool Beans Television Show. Je m'appelle Chris Arnold. Et je m'appelle Mickey Michaels. Mm, jolie tenue. Merci. Toi aussi. Now this isn't Chanel de France. We're just having a little bit of fun. Indeed. The Cool Beans Television Show. The home of fun. Yes, the home of fun, but also the home of safety. Because the best kind of fun is safe fun. Coming up on the show today, we meet the vegetable entertainer, Madame Zucchini. Global superstar, Ricky Damon, performs live. And some other stuff. Now we like to start off the show by seeing what's on TV. And I'll have you all know that I've been hanging around with celebrity sidekick, Graham DeCole. And he's shown me how to turn the TV on with my mind. Now I'm not so sure you should be hanging around with him, Chris. He has just been put in jail for five years. Now, 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 Mickey, he said he's innocent and I believe him. But they found a sweet old lady's jewelry in his house. <laughs> Just let me turn on the TV using my mind. <laughs> you alright? Yes! Hello and welcome to This Is Your Moderately Successful Life. Joining me in the studio today, Dan Druff. Now, most of you will recognise Dan from his stand-up comedy, but you didn't cut your teeth there, did you, Dan? That's right. I started out in the cutthroat world of professional juggling as part of a double act. Ah, yes. Um, head and shoulders alongside bus cut. That's right. We were the scourge of Vegas. And it was the end of that double act that really brought you to stand-up, wasn't it? That's right. Uh, both Buzz and I went separately into comedy. He went first, though, didn't he? It split hairs. Right. And it's fair to say that you've deviated a little bit since then, haven't you? Buzz went off to play sell-out shows in the States, whereas I chose a much more culturally satisfying route, which is to play large venues, but admittedly with smaller audiences and at a substantial personal loss. Right. <laughs> now, no one's ever called you the master of reinvention, but it's fair to say that you have reinvented yourself, haven't you? OK, I'll hold my hands up. I didn't quite get the formula right in the early days. So the dog, right? The dog? He doesn't have a nose. And the wife, the wife, she asks me, how does he smell? I said, he doesn't smell very well, you daft bint. <coughs> well, I guess that was the style in the 70s. It was uh, 2012. Well, I suppose, as we've already said, you have reinvented yourself quite a bit since then, haven't you? That's right. Something wasn't quite working with the act, so I had to really upgrade it, make it much more contemporary. My dog, mon chien, et son lanez. Comment ils sont? Ils ne sont pas très bien. And that went down well in France? No. Uh, about that time you made your move into musical comedy? That's right, I saw which way the wind was blowing. My dog! And then things were all looking up for Dandruff. You were offered a six episode series with one of the biggest TV companies in the UK. My dog, right? You know, dogs. Dogs, all the dogs. Uh, Labrador, all the dogs. My dog has no nose. And you might ask me, how does he smell, Dan? How can he possibly smell? Well, he doesn't smell very well. It's a shame that they only showed half an episode before the show was dropped. Yeah, I mean, they could have let it finish, at least. Well, listen, Dan, tell me about the last time you appeared on TV and your infamous appearance on Mock the News. Well, first and foremost, nobody wanted me on that show. I had to bribe a lot of people to be there. But I am male, so that helped a little. Dandra, you're up next. <coughs> Go on, Dan, make it funny. My dog, right? And so began your fall from grace. I, I wouldn't say it was a fall from grace. Mm. You did punch a producer in the face and you haven't had a paid job since. Dandruff, this has been your moderately successful life. Thank you very much. Chris, 
Yes, uh, yes, yes, Mickey. Do you want to see my children's puppet show? Well, all the characters are little chipolata men, and they're all at a party where there's no women. What's it called? Sausage fest. That's appalling. And you know I'm a vegetarian. That's like you're literally slapping me in my face with your meat. The only kind of food-based entertainer I enjoy is a vegetable-based entertainer. Today we're meeting Madame Zucchini, the world's greatest vegetable entertainer. But where is she? Uh, <gasps> Ta-da! So, Madame Zucchini. Hello. You are a vegetable entertainer? I am a vegetable entertainer, yes. What does that entail? It's mostly entertaining people yeah. with vegetables. What would the vegetables be doing while entertaining? They would be acting out stories. So, for instance, Star Wars. So, Luke Skywalker, you have come at last. How did you know my name? It's Luke Skywalker. Passing it D2. Han Celery Solo. Stormtubers. Oh, the Millennium Fennel, of course. Darth Tater, the evil potato overlord himself. You need an antagonist. Yeah, you, you got it. When I think of vegetables, be. that's the most evil vegetable. Yeah, mm. it is. Yeah. He is evil. But at the moment, he's trying to train up Darth Tater Jr. Um, and as you can see, Darth Tater Jr. hasn't really got the hang of. He looks so... like a Spanish soap opera star. Darth Tater Jr., you must look more evil. Well, I, what do you think of my wig? I do the shows, and people make vegetable creatures with me, and, and uh, also I've got a courgette costume. Which I like to wear about town. May I try the costume on? Um. Should we sing a song? What do you think? Yeah. One, yeah. two. One, two, three, four. Manzini's vegetable song. Solo. Uh, yes, I've maybe. just written a song. Do you want to hear it? Not really. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Save it for the professionals. And number three, it's H E R D with Don't Bring Me Beef. Slipping 100 places down to number two, it's Quiff de Berg with Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow. And number one, it's Lil Bill and Lil Bill with Swipe Right for Trouble. Bill 
Now, music doesn't get any better than that, does it? Mickey, what are you doing? I'm doing as you told me. I'm goateeing Nigel Farage. No, 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 I said tidy my garage, not goatee Farage. Anyway, it's pronounced Farage, and goatee sounds nothing like tidy. Sorry. <sighs> Time for a break. Leighton, is that you? Oh, hey Tracy, yes it is me. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just here to sell my ornate tanker collection. I've been struggling to make ends meet since my accident. And this is my only way out. I'm just waiting for the shop assistant to come back with my quote. Money troubles are common in this day and age. I just got out of some myself. However, I didn't have to sell anything precious to me. I just asked PurloinAloans.com. What? PurloinAloans.com is the fastest and easiest and most precarious way of securing short-term cash. Just simply tell us how much you need, for how long, and provide us with pictures of your children or loved ones for insurance reasons. Purloin Loans really helped me when I ate a flan that I found at a bus stop and had to miss a month of work. The cheque came the next working day. You're very welcome, Carol. But don't forget the APR. Ploinaloans.com Don't forget the APR. Hello there and welcome back to the Cool Beans television show. So, according to the Cool Beans MySpace page, you all think we need to lose a little bit of weight. To be fair, it's hard to lose weight when all you do is sit on a sofa all day. Luckily for us, this show is more than just shambolic, clunky, poorly executed sketches. Yes, it also provides extremely handy guides to everyday situations. <laughs> wobbly bits. They make me sick in the mouth. And they should make you sick in the mouth as well. You want to lose your wobbly bits? Then keep on watching. Because it's time for the Cool Beans Guide. To the gym! <laughs> Your first time in a gym is always going to be a little daunting. Why not start with one of the easy machines, like the weighing scales? Don't remember being this heavy. Let's get the shorts. Now a rowing machine is an ideal way to burn off calories. Simply stand at the end, bend your legs and lift. Now they say that the right diet is equally as important as exercise when it comes to fitness. That's why for every calorie you burn off, make sure you double it with your food and drink intake. Now some people like to wrap their full body in cling film before a workout. The idea is they would create a sauna-like effect and intensify sweating. Take a look at this for example. Oh f I've wrapped up my sandwich again! Now hiring a personal trainer can increase motivation. It always helps if he's loosely based around Mickey Goldmill from the Rocky series. Move, you son of a <laughs> What are you, some sort of Nazi boy? You're a 300 pound Italian monster! What are you waiting for? Let's move! If you don't think you're gonna make it through your 30 minute session with him, a quick montage can help speed things along. <laughs> when you're done with the gym, Hit the showers or the sauna, give yourself a deep cleanse. Really helps put an endpoint on the workout. Oh, God! What are you doing? What's wrong? You've never seen a grown man do his clutch before? Get out of here! Now, not everyone can afford to go to the gym. Luckily, there is a sport out there readily available for all and at completely no cost urban swimming. Put your back into it. Do the butterfly already. 
come on. You'll never guess what, but this week Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were seen wearing matching blue jeans. That's right, matching blue jeans. Welcome to the life of a Welsh folk pop star You might think you're not a fan but you probably are If you were to miss me it would be a shame The Welsh whisperer is my name Playing live is what I live for, you know. It's my passion. It's why I get up in the morning. Well, that and I need to open up my dog grooming shop at 9am, otherwise Bets and the Poodle won't get a daily wash. I've got no idea why a poodle needs to be washed every day at 9am, but it's certainly keeping my dog grooming business going. I mean hobby. My dog grooming hobby. Music's my business. Hi, I'm the Welsh Whisperer. You might remember me from my smash hit song, The Butcher's Daughter. It's a butcher's daughter for me But I know that her daddy won't agree The meat she serves is fresh from the slaughter She's the finest girl in town, she's the butcher's daughter Yeah, the Welsh Whisperer is my real name. I've got my birth certificate here. I thought my mum might have lost it. She's quite known for being clumsy and forgetful, but uh, here it is. Right then, got any gigs for me or what? TV appearance, nice one. On a show called After the Mighty Have Fallen. So things haven't been going great between me and my agent. How much am I going to get paid? I'm going to get paid 50 quid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do I have to keep paying 50 quid? But the NWAB, National Welsh Association of Butchers, have been in touch. They're talking about funding a tour of Wales, which could be huge. It could be the start of something big, my ticket back to the top. So I thought I'd get back into the swing of doing some live performances. I've actually got a massive gig coming up tonight at the Capel Glyn Mochnan Val Town Hall. Now I'm about to do something I haven't done in over 30 years. Buskin. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry for love. Oh, what this? Since you have got EDM, no? With EDM? Electronic dance music. Can you book your tether poodle? Have you ever seen it? perform your Turns out busking isn't as popular as it was in the seventies. Well, great. We're going to gig here, Mama. Can't and Val. Is it good? Are you camping? Yeah. We should just get Mama to the shave you. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, do it together. Pretty sure. Don't pay tight. Sorry, mate. I know 50 quid might seem a bit expensive for a country folk pop concert, but if you think about it, all I've got to do is get one person to come, and me 50 quid. Right, here we are, Capel Glyn Mochnan Town Hall. On stage in 15 minutes, let's do this. I've invited all 50,000 of my MySpace and Bebo friends, so I hope they show up. Hello, Capel Glyn Mochnan Town! This first one's called I'm Hungry for Love. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry for love. You still owe me 50 quid for this one and all weather. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. The Welsh Whisperer there, who self penned the song I'm Hungry for Love, definitely isn't getting more and more annoying every week. And now it's time for our special guest, world famous Ricky Damon. <laughs> Ricky Damon, all the way from planet Earth. Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, man. It's a pleasure to be here, man. So, who got you behind me today? Uh, this is my this is my entourage, my family, my crew. Huge rumours on the internet, especially from TMZ, saying that you're going to be the fifth member of a uh, British pop group which recently lost a member. Is that true? Guys, can I answer that? No, no. Yeah, right. 
I can't answer that right now. No? Maybe in the future sometime, you'll get to know, but not right now. You can't know right now. So how's the world tour going? Oh man, the world tour, wait a minute. Just got some uh, girls hit me up on uh, Tinder. How do you feel about the accusations going around that you lip sync all your live performances? No, that ain't me, man. That ain't what I'm about. What? I'm a real artist. Tell me a little bit about your charity work. Well, really, my charity work is everything to me. That's what all my music is about. There's people all over the world, and they ain't got all this, this, this stuff that I got. So your fans, they're called Damonites, is that right? Yeah. Is it true that one of them tattooed a picture of your face on their face so they could see you in the mirror? I, I know at least several people that have done such things. Mm -hmm. so guys, while you're on TV, do you want to do any shout-outs at all? Hell yeah. Yo. Shout out to Big Denroy, shout out to Young Smoochie, shout out to Martha Wu, aka Young Flouncy Wouncy, aka Young Bouncy Wouncy. Yes. Yo, that's my dog, Big Boo, my man Elmo, Ernie, I got my skin in the ground. The whole city is street crap, I'm saying. All right, enough shout outs, enough shout outs. So, you're going to do one of your latest singles right now for us in the studio? What's that one called? The world is the biggest place in the world. You promise you're not gonna lip sync this one? Live performance, full band, recorded live on backing track. Shots, 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 sh